Ding, bang, boom. We are live. Hello, everyone. How was your today? Wednesday? Yes, Wednesday. I'm three minutes late. My bad. But um, I've been arguing with people all day about getting paint delivered. Tink, everyone. So, hey, Bubs, can you come up? No. Oh. Today, I am going to do the Italian drip. And I hope that either you're entertained, educated, or informed about something. Okay, come here. For those that don't know, an Italian drip is a way of creating uh, granified or granite or marbly like countertop finishes. You can definitely incorporate this into artwork. And Rhonda does it all the time. Mike does it all the time. I'm gonna do it, um, maybe. I'm gonna attempt it uh, for you guys. I know a lot of you like to just laugh at my attempts and that's okay. That's okay. But today's the day. I'm gonna do it on here and uh, attempt to succeed. Okie dokie. I have this board lowered. It's 12 by 24, I'm pretty sure. And it's currently kind of white. I'm going to be creating for you guys aqua patina. <laughs> so I'm gonna base paint it with some spray paints. Um, if you wanna take Bowie out open this window. It got colder. So I'm gonna use something. No idea what this color is. Okay. Napoli? Mm, no one knows. So I'm going to, I went ahead and pick this up, I thought. I'm just gonna fog in some patches. I don't know how much of this is going to be seen through the artwork, so It's just gonna be rough painted on. This one is gold, metallic gold from Rustolian. I would use a copper or bronze for this bit, but I don't have any, and so we're gonna use gold. I don't know how much it's gonna show through anyways, like I said, so we're just gonna roll with this. Also, this could be a finish all on its own. Round up. We're gonna take it to the next. I should have worn an RK3 shirt and had my hair up just really high. If I could have just one bang that just goes into my face. Um, I'm going to say that imitation is the like best form of flattery and I love some Rhonda. Hey, glad you could catch a leg too. What's up, Sandy? Uh, so I'm going to do aqua patina. I'm excited. Probably gonna mess up it, but that's fine. Sorry. They like to be loud right when I go live, so that's fun. But we're gonna take it to the next step. I went ahead and pre mixed my resin. I should have done it sooner because art coat takes longer to. See, I'm done with. Um... Okay. Um, our code takes longer to set up, and the key to doing this the right way, I'm told, because I have yet to ace this look. I've gotten really close. You have to let your resin get a little bit gummy, because when the alcohol falls on the metallic particles that you're going to have in here, the mica, I'm going to use dry paste, so it's close as I want to get for everybody. Um, 
the alcohol is going to move and disperse the spray paint that I'm going to fog with as well as the mica particles that are in the resin. So it's going to make some designs. But if your resin is too fresh, it'll continue to move until it's not there anymore. So you really need to let your resin set up. For Art Coat, I'm pretty sure she lets it set up for like 30, 45 minutes. And mine has been setting up for like 15, 20 minutes because of life. So we're going to get this done today, you guys. All righty. So since these are the colors of my wedding, I'm very excited about doing these, this color combo. This isn't exactly the ones, but essentially aqua patina. Hey, Robin. I hope I can make you proud because I, I just have it in my head that it's going to be a full spectacle. Also, this is my first glass of wine. Right then, let's get started. I swear it's the first glass. So, I'm going to mix up some clearish with some abalone and mostly some coppers and some aquas in various quantities. All of these colors in the epoxy you can get on my website, artiststilldeath.com. But if you want to get countertop coat instead of art coat, you can get it from Rhonda. Or you can get it from Artist Told Death, nope, from StoneCoatCountertops.com. Use the code YALL for an awesome discount. Y-A-L-L, all caps, no punctuation. What's my favorite? Alcohol, ink, orange. There's a coral that I can't remember. Clara probably knows. It's a Copic, like, coral color. Does a Too Faced dissolve in alcohol? Well, no mica really dissolves in alcohol, but it will break down enough to, that you could spritz it. If that's the question. Hello, Megan, everybody. Here we go. Um, yes. First, I'm gonna mix up some very thin abalone. I don't want it to be like fully loaded. I want to be able to see through to some of this a little bit. And this uh, clear abalone mixture is going to be the only way you're going to be able to see through it because my other colors will be pretty opaque. Sunset orange is a good one. All right. So we have our this. You can still see through this to the stick so it's translucent enough and transparent enough. But you guys will never know because it doesn't like to focus. So I'm gonna start with some sea foam and get some of that out there and then I'm gonna switch to aquamarine, both by resin art. mica but it doesn't like puff up into your face. Bobby. Bobby says no. hello to whoever walked no. by your door. <gasps> of course right when I try to lower it it focuses. So I'm stirring real vigorously and you can see that nothing's like Coming up at me, I just hit myself in the nose. Stop. Hello, and Kate. Bowie. I know, I love some sea foam too. Beautiful light color. What's up, dudes? Hey. So, I'm going to mix up some almond by just resin next. It's very deep, brownishy color. 
but has an awesome metallic to it. I'm gonna attempt an Italian drip. Don't laugh at me already. <laughs> has such faith in me and my not skills. So my this is a little bit thick. My paste is a little bit thick, and so I'm going to hit it with just a little bit of heat, and that's going to kind of thin it out, reconstitute it, smooth it a bit. <coughs> See the difference? Too much, you guys let me know and I'll go close the window. A bit. Love this color palette. Thank you so much. I do too. Very partial to this. You're already like in my face. My Italian drip face. So there. Now, let's apply some resin. So I'm gonna take my mostly clear abalone, kind of just put it down in different areas. These are gonna be the areas where I'm going to be able to see through the other colors because it's translucent. So I'll be able to see the base paint. What's the word? The background paint. The what I've already done paint. Yeah. You're bored by this already? It's kind of amazing. Everyone says hi. Hello. Okay. I'm ready. I'm going to add some of my this uh, sea foam. All of this kind of doesn't matter because I'm going to be doing a lot of <laughs> Was it too spicy? It, yeah, it looks it like it would kill somebody's throat that pop. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what I was saying. Uh, no, you're not going to be able to see that much of it anyways because of the overspray we're going to do. So I'm adding some aquamarine to my... Uh, that was way too much. But the great thing about epoxy paste and pigments and micas is that you can't really add too much. It's not going to set it off like some uh, water-based paints like acrylics do. So I added some aquamarine to make this deeper teal color. two colors together because then it'll make a color I don't really want to do. So I want to go ahead and pre-manipulate this bit and then we'll add the darker colors. My goal is to do a piece that I'm like, Rhonda, what's up? Look what I did. Mm. Instead of having one that's like, oh, I hope she never sees this. So I'm mostly going through trying to add that into the blank spaces. I'm going to add some bronze. 
mica from just resin into my almond. I'm going to warm it up a little bit. Uh, this is an actual powder, so I'm trying to fold it in so all of the particles don't come back out into my face. Just fold it in. Just fold it in. Just fold it in. Listen, can you say fold it in one more time? What does that mean? You were going to say we're arguing about that. Here's, here's what you do. You just, you just fold it in. Alright, that color looks almost exactly the same, but a little bit different. A little lighter. Mm. Alright, so now I'm going to melt that in to the areas that don't have any resin on it currently. And then we're going to, ew, I'm supposed to chop it. I'm going to have to get a choppy brush. Just jam over there. Can you guys hear Peter? The people that are new here and don't know my, it's a hot mess still it's a success process, are probably looking at this like, <laughs> what is she doing? But new guy? Just know it's going to be amazing. This is just for you, Glen Coco. I did such a good job with this background painting that I can't even tell where they're like spots no resin. That wasn't a real brag. It was Whenever I ask Rhonda for help when I'm doing something like this, she's always like, just don't think about it, just kind of just do it. And I'm like, Rhonda, that doesn't help me at all. It is kind of tortoiseshellish, isn't it? Okay, so ideally I would, I'm just going to try to get some resin onto this brush. Because if I just put it in to the resin dry, it's just going to soak up a lot of my tinted resin. And I don't have that much on there anyway, so I'm just going to pre-soak it. You can see it's kind of gummy now in my clear resin. So I'm going to just chop up the aqua portions first, and then I'm going to go in and do... the copper portions. What's kind of cool about these two colors is that when they do mix together, they kind of make a purple color. That's so crazy because this is like true color on here. It's going to hear you and change. So this is going to give my mic is kind of a star pattern. I'll give you guys a close up in just a minute. Mm -hmm. that looks two areas between the copper and the aqua, just slightly. And this is all kind of background to 
what we're going to end up doing. Uh, I hope. Sweet. Okay, this should go in a cup of acetone lid on it, and then we want to use it again, bring it out, beat the devil out of it to get a lot of the. acetone off of it, and then you can use it. Just gonna wipe my hands off before things get crazy. I thought you would stroke it with a brush. You can stroke it, or you can uh, stipple, essentially, or um, chop it, to use a mic term. <laughs> it's crazy, this. It's just the reflection of whatever color that is. The copper, the copper will do that because it, the, it's a metallic particle, so it floats. For example, in here, that's kind of what you're showing on that side camera. Yeah. That's right here. Okay, let me clean a little bit of this up and let this kind of live for a minute. I'm not hitting it with any heat right now for a couple reasons. One, it would defeat the purpose of letting it set up. I need it to thicken up, and if I use heat, then it's going to wreath in it. Um, and also, I'm not hitting with heat because the purpose to use heat on something like this would be to pop bubbles, and alcohol actually uh, breaks surface tension and will pop the bubbles for you. Sippy, sippy. Traffic does get kind of loud at this hour. All right, let's move on. Uh, countertop. So the next step is going to be to Fog it with spray paint and then do the drip. And I'm going to let you guys know the mechanics of the drip and just know that I'm not an expert with the drip. So what you have to do is spritz some alcohol with some mica. You don't have to have micas, but I'm going to. In your hand and then you're supposed to like splay your fingers like this. You're making kind of like broken claw and then you get after it with that Italian move. Hey, cannoli. I can't do an accent. Of course, Jen. So you do that. I hope I didn't offend you, Jen, or any other Italian. So you do that and then go like this. And so big drops will fall out off of your knuckles onto the piece and create an awesome look. That's what I'm told. I can get hey, Susan. Look. Would it be that tire? It's fine. I would turn it that way a bit. Exactly, Evelyn. All right. So you can kind of see that copper, the brighter points of it, hit different light and look super awesome because the particles float. Now if I hit it with a lot of heat, more of those particles would float up and it would look even more awesomer. Yes, I did say more awesomer. Could be worse, could be muted. up Red Rollins. Um, yeah, drips are super fun. I have so much respect for people that take the time to take the drips and do something with them that's creative, like overlays, inlays, jewelry, all that. Okay, so technically you should be able to pick up some of the resin that's fallen and stretch it longer than this. Maybe double of this. 
that's how you know your resin is ready for the next step. But I don't have that kind of time. So we're just gonna jump into the next step. Right now. Okay. Don't need that color. So I'm gonna use Seaside Gloss from rust -Oleum. I know this one works because Rhonda uses it a lot. Uh, to do this, you also have to have gloss spray paint. Don't use satin or below. And don't use acrylic base paint. It has to be enamel or whatever. For best, I'm just telling you. I failed at this so many different ways. And that's stuff that I have learned. Additionally, I'm going to be spritzing with bronze, red bronze mica in 91% alcohol, as well as the aquamarine that we used in 91% alcohol. Cool, moving on. So you really wanna move fast because once your spray paint dries on the surface, it's not really gonna move. So you need to have everything ready. Uh, even if you pre-shake, you're gonna have to reshake. That's on the phone. So even if I pre-shake, you're gonna have to reshake. So it doesn't really matter about that. Everything else, you need to make sure it's ready to go. Especially if you're gonna use a metallic spray paint like I'm thinking about using. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss this kind of over a lot of the copper. I swear this is going to shit up. much alcohol because you can have too much. Are you supposed to spray alcohol on there as well? You can. We painted over all that other stuff you did, so we'll see. Like you covered all that other stuff. It's about creating depth. regular clear as well. Also, I'm told you can use too much, so don't use too much. We have a, another bottle. Yeah. Empty bottle. Just I wish I could do it like Rhonda does it. It's right in your right hand. If 
you don't like it, you can respray it. No. Um, you can respray it. You just have to wait for the alcohol to dry a bit. I'll give you guys a close up. I wish I had Rhonda's. Chapel. I'll take it. I wish you guys could see the reflection colors. They look pretty cool. Also, if there's something you don't like, you can always what Rhonda calls bag it and pull up the color. When you do that, though, you risk 
a lot of your resin coming up. So if you don't have a lot on, like I don't have that much on the surface, you gotta be careful with that. jellyfish. Thanks Yolanda. I like the blue as well. So it reflects an awesome bunch of colors. A lot of the pigments that I use, especially this um, aquamarine has a, has a purple interference, a purple and blue interference, so it's very Um, unique. Just trying to open those patches of bronze and copper a little bit. who know how to do the, this. This is going to look great as an underwater. So, again, I did not do an Italian drip to my standards. And unarguably, I put way too much alcohol on the surface of this. But it's going to look amazing as a back ground to an underwater piece. I want this to be the debt like you're looking over into the ocean and there's just a whole bunch of kelpie coral situations. Wish you guys could see it from my perspective because it definitely looks different under the camera. Robin, wait longer than I did between when you apply your resin and when you apply your spray paint and your Italian drip so that it has time to thicken up. Because you can see it looks different because it will kind of bloom out and then it immediately comes back together. Exactly like the barrier reef. So I'm going to take this to the DFZ. <coughs> love it, love it. And in between time, you get me. <laughs> what do you guys think about the light behind? I've been wanting to try to do a different look of just the light up front and then some color in the back but I think we just have so much stuff back here and not a solid wall that it's hard to get the color 
And then plus I have these lights on. What are you going to do? What you going to do? What happened? So the resin was already on it. Do you know how you told me to wait an hour? Yeah. I fell asleep. <laughs> that, I mean, that happens. Yeah, Megan, I already had resin on it. And then I did all of that to the resin that was already on it. Otherwise, it wouldn't really move if I were to just spritz the uh, alcohol and the spray paint onto a dry, sorry, hold on. If I were to just spritz the alcohol onto spray paint on a surface, a dry surface that has no resin on it, it, it wouldn't have done anything. Now, Rhonda does do a technique where she Italian drips. Hold on, I'll show you the. Okay, ready? It hurts. Uh, she does that on a dry surface, waits for the micas to kind of soak in and alcohol to evaporate before adding resin over top of it. Looks super cool. I can show you guys that sometime. Uh, if you want to know uh, how a true super expert does it, check out Rhonda over at RK3. She kills it. Um, we'll be down there collabing with her next month for the pro class. I think it starts on the night. Anyways, yes. Uh, TG, your kitten is super cute. You want two more? Uh, <laughs> I don't know that she does want two more. P.S. Here's our full bowl beans. Bowie, are you so cute? Our director? Did you say hi? Who's here? Hello? Come in. Did you tell him? You did? Tell him. Did you tell him? Oh, did you tell him? Tell him. Tell him. That's all you're going to do? Well, the time you want him to do it, he doesn't do it. I know. He's being just adorable anyways. Anyways, that's the director. So if you guys have any qualms about the video, you have to send it to his inbox. Um... And he is worse than I am about responding to emails, so shoot him a text. Anyways. Poor boy girl cats. Those cats are so spoiled. Boy cat, girl cat. Got it made. I'm surprised boy cat's not sitting in the window. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching and seeing what I hope to today. I wanted that to turn out differently, but I'm not upset with how it did turn out. I'm gonna revisit it to do an actual countertop finish with the Italian drip when I'm at Rhonda's. And I'm also gonna probably talk her into doing a Labradorite finish with our spider web epoxy, epoxy web. You know what I mean, you've seen the video. It's a new craze, share it. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got a kick out of my inability to do this with either hand. And yeah, have an awesome, awesome, awesome Wednesday and rest of the week. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Check us out everywhere. Ooh, I got it right on the first try. It's the little things. Check us out in all these places. Um, see what we're doing when we're not on here. And we'll be back tomorrow. So till then, be kind to one another, because you never know what someone's going through. And always remember, we do the tests, so you don't have to. That was a fun one. I approve. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I said bye. Cue the outro. A burn, 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 burn. Everybody says they miss a stripper music.